Elon just revealed that unsupervised Tesla full self-driving should be live in June of this year in a key US market, and then soon to follow in the rest of North America. It's about to get real. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Elon has taken a lot of heat over the years for missing his projections for Tesla full self-driving. However, while later than he had hoped, it looks like Elon Musk is finally going to be able to deliver on his promise because Tesla plans to launch a driverless Tesla robotaxi service in the Austin, Texas area in June of this year. I'm recording this video in early February of 2025, meaning that June is just a few months away, June of this year. Is Elon Musk really going to be able to deliver on that promise? to actually roll out full self-driving, unsupervised full self-driving, at least in the Austin area in June. If you take a look at version 13 of Tesla's software, it's really impressive what Tesla vehicles are able to do. For example, the host of the AI Driver YouTube channel published a video testing version 13 of Tesla's full self-driving software. I recommend that you go over to the AI Driver YouTube channel and watch this full video. I will link to it down in the video description. But nonetheless, I did want to share a few key highlights from a recent video posted on that channel showing how competent and impressive version 13 of Tesla's full self-driving supervised software really is. The Tesla vehicle is shown pulling onto a street and has to get over to the far left turn lane almost immediately. What makes it a little bit more difficult is that this is actually a pretty busy section of the road here but the car very confidently eases itself out into the first lane. And then even with cars coming, it finds a quick opening and seamlessly merges over into the left turn lane. The host of the video even said, quote, it's really one of the most impressive moves I've ever seen pulled off by full self-driving. Later on in the video, the vehicle pulls into a parking lot. And while it does briefly stop in the middle of the parking lot, it then proceeds to back into a Tesla charging spot all by itself. That's pretty amazing. Another section of the video shows the vehicle driving confidently in the fog, and it does go a little bit slower than the speed limit when no cars are around to follow, and then it picks up the speed just a little bit when it has a car to follow. But nonetheless, it seems pretty confident even in foggy weather. At another point in the video, the car is shown really impressively navigating a parking lot, pulling around cars, pedestrians, etc., looking very natural and very human-like. There's also a section later on in the video with bad sun glare around a windy, narrow lane, and the car didn't seem to have any issues despite the sun glare and the very narrow, windy road. Once again, these are just a few cherry picked examples from that video. I recommend you go over and watch that full video. There will be a link in the video description for you to do that. But what Tesla has done with their version 13 of their software is extremely impressive. And this gives me a lot of confidence that Tesla is actually going to be able to do this, roll out their unsupervised FSD service in the Austin area in June of this year. So with that being said, as impressive as version 13 of Tesla software is, version 14 is supposed to be even more impressive. Elon Musk, during Tesla's recent Q4 2024 investors conference call, said the following. People have seen the immense improvement with version 13 and with incremental versions in version 13, and 14 is going to be yet another step beyond that that is very significant. One of Tesla's big advantages over other companies that are working on autonomous vehicles is the fact that they have a huge set of data that they can collect from the millions of cars that they have on the road right now. That's a huge advantage. However, it takes a lot of compute to be able to actually use that data. Thankfully though, Tesla recently installed a really impressive, what they're calling their Cortex training cluster at Gigafactory Austin. And during that conference call, Elon Musk did credit this training cluster as being quote, a significant contributor to FSD advancement. Tesla's Cortex training cluster includes approximately 50,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. This training cluster provides Tesla an impressive amount of compute and should allow them to improve even faster than before. With that being said, when it comes to actually launching Tesla's full self-driving unsupervised, Elon made clear during that presentation, quote, so we're going to be launching unsupervised full self-driving as a paid service in Austin in June. 
So I talked to the team. We feel confident in being able to do an initial launch of unsupervised, no one in the car, full self-driving in Austin in June. Elon also mentioned another exciting use of this technology because Tesla is actually allowing their vehicles now to autonomously drive from the factory to the loading dock. That was shown in this recent video that Tesla released showing these newly manufactured vehicles once again autonomously driving from the factory to the loading dock where they park themselves in preparation for later to be loaded up on a semi for delivery. Now, currently the Tesla vehicles driving autonomously from the factory to the loading dock. This is only happening at Tesla's Fremont factory, but Elon made clear that quote, we'll soon be doing that at our factory in Texas. I'm looking forward to the day when Tesla's vehicles may even be able to deliver themselves, literally pull up into the customer's driveway who ordered them. This is really impressive technology, and we're just starting to see really the culmination of all the work that Tesla has been doing. Okay, now moving back to Tesla launching their unsupervised full self-driving service in Austin in June of this year. The reason they're only staying in one basic market at first is really to play it safe and make sure it works safely before they launch it elsewhere. Elon Musk addressed this during that conference call when he said, quote, It's not that it doesn't work beyond Austin. In fact, it does. We just want to put a toe in the water, make sure everything is okay, then put a few more toes in the water, then put a foot in the water with safety of the general public and those in the car as our top priority. With that being said, it looks like this service being limited to the Austin area will be short lived and Tesla is going to pretty quickly roll this out to a lot of other markets because Elon Musk mentioned, but I'm very confident we'll have released unsupervised full self-driving, full autonomous Teslas in Austin and several other cities in America by the end of this year probably everywhere in America next year, at everywhere in North America at least, I think in terms of next year. Our constraints, I think, it's likely to be just regulatory. When it comes to beyond North America and into the European market, Elon Musk did talk about how, quote, Europe is a layer cake of regulations and bureaucracy. Despite all the regulations though, based on Elon's comments here, it does look like they still have a chance of launching unsupervised FSD in the European market maybe sometime around May or so of next year. Another important market for Tesla is China, but according to Elon Musk's comments, it looks like there are some pretty big challenges in actually launching full self-driving unsupervised in China because the Chinese government is not allowing Tesla to transfer video training outside of China. And then there's the US government that won't let Tesla do training in China. Elon Musk did describe a workaround here where they're using publicly available video of street signs and traffic rules in China, and they're using that for training in a simulator. Nonetheless, there are quite a few unique challenges in driving on roads in China. And Elon Musk did mention specifically one of those challenges, quote, the bus lanes are very complicated. Despite these challenges though, Elon Musk did say, quote, we'll get this solved. Now moving over to another topic that has been brought up in the past, and that is FSD licensing. And Elon Musk did make it very clear that, quote, what we're seeing is at this point, significant interest from a number of major car companies about licensing Tesla's full self-driving technology. So it looks like licensing FSD to other companies will happen at some point in the future. And in regards to this, Elon Musk said, I think the interest level from other manufacturers to license FSD will be extremely high once it's obvious that unless you have FSD, you're dead. When Tesla starts rolling out their unsupervised full self-driving service in Austin, and as that rolls out to more and more cities, it's going to be once again, kind of that iPhone moment where you're going to have to have some kind of full self-driving autonomous software uh, available on your vehicle, or it's just not gonna sell very well. We're really getting to that point, I believe much quicker than a lot of automakers thought we would. And if Tesla has that main solution, once again, a solution that only requires compute and cameras and their great software, it's really going to be a no brainer for other companies to license this from Tesla if they don't have any other solutions or if the other solutions require um, a bunch of LIDAR, radar and other sensors that will be unnecessary with Tesla's solution. 
to this problem. This is something I've talked about in the past, but Tesla is solving this with a very simple sensor suite. And this is going to be very attractive when it comes to building out vehicles with the hardware without it costing a lot of money, without it adding a lot of extra costs to the vehicles. Another nugget that was mentioned by Elon during the conference call was the fact that it looks like hardware three vehicles will not be sufficient for Tesla's unsupervised FSD. Specifically, Elon said, I think the honest answer is that we're gonna have to upgrade people's hardware three computer for those that have bought full self-driving. And that is the honest answer, and that's going to be painful and difficult, but we'll get it done. With that being said, I do wanna read one more quote from Elon Musk, and this is on the topic of Tesla being a leader in real world AI. And this is something that Elon has talked about in the past, but he specifically, during this recent conference call mentioned quote, there is no company in the world that is as good in real world AI as Tesla. I don't even know who's in second place. I would need a very big telescope to see them. That is how far behind they are. I would love to know what you think about all this. Do you believe Tesla really is as far ahead in real world AI as Elon Musk claims? Also, do you believe that Tesla will actually be able to launch their FSD unsupervised in the Austin area in June, just a few months from now, and then roll that out by the end of the year to several other key markets in the US. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments section below. I would like to say also, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.